In this video, we will learn how to read soil textural triangle or ternary diagram. You can see the triangle at the right side of the screen. To read the diagram, we have to have the percentage of different sized soil particles that is sand, silt and clay particles of the soil. So in simple word, the different sized soil particles is soil texture and it is the basic permanent property of, of a soil as it is not readily subject to change. Diameter of individual soil particles ranges from 1 meter in case of boulder to less than 10 to the power minus 6 meter in case of sub-microscopic clays. And there are several classification systems by International Society of Soil Science, United States Department of Agriculture, United States Roads and Administration. The classification system by United States Department of Agriculture is widely used. Gravels, cobbles, boulder and other coarse fragments greater than uh, 2 mm in diameter are not considered to be part of the fine earth fraction to which the soil texture uh, you know, properly applies. So according to the United States Department of Agriculture, so sand is from you know 0 0.05 millimeter in diameter to 2.0 millimeter in diameter. Silt is between 0 0.002 millimeter to 0 0.05 millimeter in diameter and smaller than 0.0 point uh, 0 0.002 is clay. So here you can see some general properties of these three major size uh, class of uh, inorganic soil particles. So here you can see that the range of particles the diameter in millimeter is for sand 2 to uh, 0 0.05 silt is 0 0.05 to 0 0.002 uh, millimeter and clay is smaller than 0 0.002 millimeter and in uh, means of observation you can say that the uh, sand we can see in, in naked eye we have to use microscope for silt and electromicroscope for clay and attraction of pro particles to each other is low in soil and high in clay attraction of uh, part particles of water is low in, in soil high in clay so you can uh, see here and that the consistency when wet sand is loose and gritty, silt is smooth and clay is sticky and when consistency when dry, sand is very loose and gritty, silt is powdery and some cloth and clay is you know hard cloth and uh, you can see from here that is the generalized influence of soil separates that is sand, silt and clay uh, of uh, their properties and behavior. So from in, uh, the if, in case of soil holding, uh, water holding capacity low in, in sand, clay is high in clay, aeration is good in sand but poor in clay, uh, you can, that can be easily understand and the drainage rate uh, accordingly high in case of sand and very slow in case of clay. Organic matter content is low in sand and medium to high uh, in, in clay. So you can read uh, this uh, screen for uh, to know the 
general influence, general property behavior of three separates. So within the three broad subgroups of sandy soils, clay soils and loamy soils, 14 uh, specific textual classes uh, graduate from sands to clay, that is from coarse in texture to fine and they are <coughs> sands, loamy sands, this is under sandy, sandy soil, sandy loam, fine sandy loam, very fine sandy loam, loam, silt loam, silt, sandy clay loams, silty clay loams, clay loam, this is under loamy soil and sandy clay, silty clay and clay is under clay soil. But this uh, fine sandy loam and very fine sandy loam are not included in triangular graph. So in, in triangular graph there are 12 textural classes. So uh, the relationship between the textural classes, name and properties of sand, silt and clay is commonly no, uh, shown in the, in uh, uh, diagrammatically as triangular graph. So sand and sandy uh, loamy sands are dominated, you know, by the, uh, by, is, by the properties of sand. So this sand and loamy sand, because they comprises at least 70% of sand by weight and less than 15% uh, of clay materials. Similarly, clay, sandy clay and sinti clay are dominated by the characteristics of clay. And uh, naturally the Likewise, silts are dominated by the properties of silt. And most soils are some type of loam. So what is loam? A loam is a mixture of sand, silt and clay particles in about equal proportion. But this does not mean that they are present in equal amounts because if uh, that is why the loam class is not is uh, within in, in within if did that happens that the loam uh, loam class will be at the center of the triangle but it is not exactly the middle of the triangle so that is why loam is not uh, in in the exact uh, equal amounts of the uh, three separates and this anomaly exists because uh, relatively small percentage of clay uh, has a greater influence on uh, soil uh, whereas small amounts of sand or seals have a lesser influence uh, on how a soil behaves. So a loam in which sand is dominated, this is called sandy loam. So if in a loam when sand is dominated, this is called sandy loam and in the same way some soils classified as silt loams, silty clay loams, sandy clay loams and clay loams. So you can see here that this is silt loam, this is silty clay loams, this is sandy clay loam and this is clay loam. So you can see here from the ternary diagram that a clay loam, this is clay loam, this is clay loam has as little of 26 percent of clay. So when it is clay loam, the clay properties is less. But in case of you go for sandy loam, you will see that the sand portion is 45 percent. So this is sandy loam. In case of silt loam, you will find that the at least 50% silt is there. So that is why you can easily identify that the small portion or small percentage is clay has a significant 
influence on soil behavior. So now we're going to calculate, uh, identify the soil texture. So there is one example here, exercise that if a soil contains 15% sand, 15% clay and 70% silt, then what is its uh, soil texture? So uh, if we, uh, this is clay, so your clay is 15%, so it is from, this is the point 15%. So we have to draw line from this point, that is 15 points, and it goes parallel to the sand line. Again, when we put uh, value of sand here, that is 15%, this goes parallel to silt line, likewise. And when <coughs> we put silt percent, then that goes parallel to the clay. So clay will go parallel to sand, sand will go parallel to silt, silt will go parallel to clay. So it is an anti-clockwise movement. So for clay it is 15%, so you have to draw a line parallel to sand 15%. For sand it is 15%, so you have to draw a line parallel to silt. So this is 15% uh, and the silt is 70%. So this is 70% of silt. Oh, sorry, this is 70% of silt. silt. So this goes parallel to, you know, your clay line. Clay side. So this is the points meet here. So the texture of this soil is silty low or silt low. So if we go for the second example here, you can see here that the wire would a soil sample with 33% sand, 34% silt and 33% clay intersect in textural triangle or ternary diagram. So in where they intersect. So in case of take from the clay that is 33% clay so this line goes parallel to you know sand so this 33% goes parallel to sand and sand percentage is 33% so this is somewhere here so this goes parallel to silt line so 33% goes and 34% is silt. So this is 34%. Then this line goes parallel to the clay arm. So, so they intersect at the clay loam portion. So by using this uh, uh, textual diagram or uh, textual triangle or turnet diagram, we can easily identify the soil texture if we know that the basic soil particles, the major soil particles percentage, sand, silt and clay. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video.